Good morning everyone, it's Mocha here. I hope you can hear me because my AirPods are actually so shit. I just checked the audio and you can hear me. So this is part one of getting my life together before becoming a slaying uni student girl. It's gonna be so fun. And today I'm gonna get my nails done, which is very long overdue because like literally people have been making fun of my nails, which is so rude, first of all. Second of all, okay. Second of all, I kind of, um, I kind of understand because it looks so shit. But today I'm finally gonna go and get them done, which is so cool. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I really loved this color, but I'm someone I just like to try new things. So I was actually thinking of getting a baby blue, hmm, but I'm really not sure. So I'm gonna just think while I'm on the train. <gasps> Here's a super quick fit check. So I'm wearing this super, super cute, kind of like flowy blousey top with this pearl detail. It's like a halter top. It is so cute. And I've literally not worn it once this summer because people kept telling me that whatever occasion I was wearing it to was too overdressed. And I literally don't see that. Like I literally don't see that. So today it's September. And I know it's not giving September fall girly, but you know, I just need to wear it once before summer is over. So I think it is so, so cute. It's looking so gorgeous and like super feminine. I love it. Like Hachi would wear this. And I paired my super cute thrifted coach bag from Tokyo with it. Oh my gosh. Every time I talk about this bag, I just have to mention that it's from Tokyo because it just feels cooler. And then these super, super baggy jeans are from Heather, also from Tokyo. And I'm just wearing these kind of like platform sandals from And Other Stories. They're my go-to trusty summer shoe. Like literally, you can throw these onto any outfit and it's just gonna look cooler. And yeah, as always, my hairstyle is literally just copied from Hachi. So Hi everyone, so I got home from my nail appointment quite a while ago. I made some food. As you saw, I also had a quick stop at Zara. Also did like two days ago, so I actually got two things from Zara. I saw both of these last week in Zara and I was like, you know, being patient. I was like, you know what, you're gonna think about this some more before you buy it. Because I remember the, the one piece that I got was actually available in my size only. There was like one piece left and it was like stained so i was like okay maybe this is a sign and you don't need this or the shoes that you saw me buy they did have them in my size but they were like completely full of dust and they said they only had this pair left and when i went in today plus when i went in the other time both both of these were available like brand new so that's why i got both of them i'm going to show you both of the things i got you guys already saw the shoes, but you don't actually know the story of why I got them. Of course I got them because they're super dainty and cute and they have a huge bow in the front, but I actually had like my one of my good friends in Japan who's also simultaneously my hairdresser. I love her to death, but she actually wore these when I visited Japan and she was like completely obsessed with them and I was like, "Oh my gosh, where did you get these shoes?" and I thought I seriously thought those were like designer heels and she was like, no, no, oh my gosh, they're from Zara And I remember I checked back then which I went in June and they didn't have them yet And so when I saw them in the store, I was like, oh my gosh, I need those I got them in size um, 37, which is my shoe size and I can just oh, If I want something and it's not there in my size 
oh, I probably just like shouldn't get it because it wasn't meant for me. But if it's there again, when I, when I go again and it's there in my size and it's not stained and completely ruined, I'll be like, God put this here for me. Somebody put this here for me to buy it, so. I just love that the bows are like a little, like they're just like, they're not like cute and dainty and tiny. They're like big fucking bows on there. Like this is so cute. And this could still be like an office fit, you know, with like a more casual, like black t-shirt, light wash jeans and those or something, but they could also be worn on a night out. So these are so gorgeous. The time now where it's like, it's not cold, but it's also not hot. You know, so it's kind of just like, it's so cute. Oh my God. And it's, this is actually like a navy color and it kind of looks like a blazer, but it's not. And it has these like perfect, it has the perfect cutoff on the arms. Like it's not too big. It's not too small. It's looking so cute. And yeah, as I said, I feel like with like a flowy longer skirt instead of this mini skirt, it would be so adorable and I'm, you know, looking extra cute. It is a little bit restrict restrictive around here. So maybe I should get this in a size M so it falls a little bit more like, like a relaxed fit. I think that would be cool. But I also like this size. It's just cool with like um, a really big pair of like loose jeans. Could also be really cool. Like baggy jeans. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I just watched a glimpse of my own YouTube video and it's getting me super nostalgic. Guys, the productivity never ends. So I, I, as I said, sometimes you just don't need to be productive all the time. But I don't know, the weather is so nice outside and I love, okay, I'm saying the weather is so nice outside, but next I'm gonna suggest an activity that I'm gonna do on the inside, which is cleaning my room. So basically my, my room looks the worst most of the time, but today it looks especially bad. So I thought, I don't know, the weather's nice. I'm feeling kind of motivated. I feel like, I don't actually feel like sitting around and doing nothing, which I feel like most of the time. So, I don't know, I thought let's clean my room. I'm just quickly going to show you this mess of a room that I've been living in for the past like month or so. Um, as you can see, nothing is where it's supposed to be. Everything is just like messy right now. Like it's a girl mess, so that's fine. But you know, we can definitely upgrade this very easily. I'm not even going to address this situation. which makes it around two to three weeks before the start of university. I am getting more and more nervous as the day comes closer. And I'm honestly so excited for university. And lately there's been a lot, a lot of packages coming from things that I ordered specifically for the start of school. And since a lot of them have arrived, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a haul because I wanted to make sure that I'm gonna be the cutest student in the entirety of the school. We're gonna start with my absolute favorite one which are these two strawberry cups. The only thing keeping me sane, as we all know, is Nana merch. And I know this is not technically Nana merch, but we all know she would get this. And I'm just gonna sip my cute little water out of this in the morning and look at the little strawberry charm. I'm actually dying. Both of them have a strawberry charm and I know technically this belongs down here, but these just look so cute and they're transparent. Technically, you could drink like strawberry milk out of this or something oh my god i'm obsessed and i love this so much and it's so cute I love these and it's so cute i already know i'm gonna have i already know i'm gonna have crippling depression as a student so just let me be delulu for now next thing i got which i was in desperate need of is just like one huge calendar and i was kind of struggling because a lot of the calendars you can get online are just not how do you say they're not they're just too small for me. I'm someone, I, if I do have a calendar, I just write everything in that calendar and I just can't have anything be missing. And also a lot of the calendar. Oh my fault, my. I 
apologize. I apologize. I just ordered some pho and that just arrived. Sorry. So a lot of calendars are also just not big enough for me and a lot of them start either from like January or way too early this year. And this one perfectly starts in September, which makes it perfect for me to use it now without having too many unused pages in the front. And it's so cute, it's pink. I know it's a little bit big, so it's not for everyone's liking, but I just personally can work better with bigger books, I think. Next thing I got is actually for my key because currently I don't have a keychain because I lost my Miffy one that I got in Japan. I bought this super, super cute Hello Kitty one. Kind of sitting in like this, this boba cup swimming and there's like pearl detailing and it just says Hello Kitty on the side and it's so cute. It's like a light pink and I love this so, so much. Often, because I'm like a chronic forgetting my keys person, which is not good. And, okay, another thing I was really excited for, I bought these Hello Kitty stickers. And it's literally like so, so many, as you can see. All of these are Hello Kitty stickers and they're like, they cost like six euros or something. I really wanted to decorate my laptop with those because my laptop is looking kind of dry and I thought I could just do a cute little deco sesh with it. So I'm just gonna, you know, take out the ones that I like the most. Ooh, this one looks like a little cell phone icon. This is gonna be me in uni, I love this. She's also a cutie. <laughs> Look at her. It's just like the standard, but why is the standard so cute? Two new binders. Tailing both of these are so cute. And I don't think I'm gonna like, I don't think I'm gonna take these to uni every day, but these are just to like organize some of my notes maybe. So this is just an at home decoration, I would say. I got this just like plain notebook. It just has like, um, all these lines on here and also just maybe to take notes the first few days and stuff like that And then I just got this huge note-taking thing and a smaller note-taking thing Pairing all of this beforehand is really gonna help me be more organized during the actual time that school starts So yeah, those are all the tools and like cute accessories that I got and I was so excited to be honest For school to start as I said, I know that I'm romanticizing the shit out of this, but honestly, I'm so really like goddamn okay with that because you know I'll get my reality check as soon as school starts so don't you worry don't you worry about a thing I mean would you look at that doesn't that look so cute I love this So I just got ready and I'm gonna go to the hairdresser and I don't know I have this urge to do like a big transformation but I think I shouldn't like I was I'm really contemplating on getting bangs again but I feel like I just had them like grow out so I think I shouldn't do it basically my point was why I wanted to cut them is now that it's like the first day of school soon for me that I should do it now rather than like during the semester where everyone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you got bangs, you know? So it would just be my default look then to just have bangs. But I remember telling myself, I'm never gonna get bangs again. But then I always get bangs again. Okay, so today I think I'm gonna be patient and I'm not gonna do it, but I am gonna get a little bit of a haircut. I don't really wanna change anything about the length. I like the length, but it's just that, um, I think giving it some shape and maybe some layers and maybe getting these babies uh, cut again because they're kind of dead. Um, and also the main thing why I even booked the appointment was color because as you can see up here is my natural color and I want to go back to that color and I actually did that in Japan. But it's just that there's so much stuff in my hair that it's just always gonna go back to this color, which is fine. So I think today I'm actually just gonna get my roots to be this color again because, or just get like some sort of transition because I don't know if you can tell, the lighting is kind of bad, but I think you can still tell that there's not really like a smooth transition. It's kind of just like a block. 
and I do just want to get like a kind of a softer transition which I think is just gonna look a little bit better than what I have going on right now flat and it's not really falling that smoothly anymore and so I think I'm just gonna get it fixed one time before uni starts and then I'm actually gonna meet another influencer after that I have a little bit of a date um I kind of I saw and found her account on TikTok and thought she was so cute and I really wanted to just like hang out with her again because we've already met each other for the first time but so today we're having a little bit of a coffee date so I also need a cute outfit so you know I need to just like use the time when someone's there that isn't annoying about taking my picture because a lot of times like oh, you need a picture again and, and people are have like this weird ass energy like what's with you like just take the pic and be excited about taking the pic don't understand anyway so i'm gonna take a cute fit and i have like uh 10 minutes left so i should probably hurry wearing these shoes from zara is a literal absolute no-brainer for me ribbon detail is so so adorable but it literally also matches like an office vibe so i'm gonna wear these today Brighter. to my second nail appointment in this vlog. Let's go. We 
have reached the end of today's vlog thank you so so much for watching i know you guys have been waiting so so patiently for me to reveal my major and the time has come i finally will nothing too special or extraordinary um i am a fashion management student which is so so exciting and i've actually known for a few years that i wanted to do it but i wasn't sure if it was something that would be well accepted by my family um or if it was something like too specific that i was doing if i should do something more broad like if i should become a law student which i was considering for a long time or if just a regular business student which all of those are just really great majors but really great majors but my heart for a long time has been telling me that this is the right major for me. I personally like it because I have all of the subjects that a regular business student has and there's just going to be a few classes that I have each semester that have to do specifically with the fashion industry and I thought it would open a lot of doors for me um, once maybe if I don't want to do anything with fashion in a few years later I still have a business degree or a management degree so I still have many more options other than just the fashion industry but if what I'm pretty sure of that I want to work in the fashion industry I maybe have like a major or a degree in it which often is like more positive when applying for jobs um, for example in Japan or something or maybe in Germany or in America I'm not sure yet but this is what I chose and yeah I hope you guys I don't know like it as well I don't know maybe tell me your opinion what you think of it um, what major you're in or what major you're looking to apply to I would be really curious so yeah I'll see you guys in my next week's vlog and thank you so much for watching